Junior Child. All right, hey y'all, TM141, and we are in the kitchen, and I am going to be making oyster dressing. Mm. It is very, very simple and very, very tasty. I don't know if you've ever tried it. We have our whole oysters here. We have evaporated milk. Wendy always preferred the Ritz style crackers. Mom always used the premium style crackers. So I'm mixing them today. All right. So first, we are going to start off with a layer of crackers. Crush them up, boys. They don't have to be crushed too much. You don't want them into a powder. All right. Now this is my first time doing this without Wendy here telling me what to do. All right, I got a nice bed down of that. Okay, and now I'm going to take and I'm going to pour in the liquid right from my oysters. Now these are re re really good oysters. These are bumblebee. But we're going to mash them up so we can spread them out good. I don't mind having a lot of oysters in my dressing. And we'll just call that good for that. Now I'm going to put in, these will sweeten it up a little bit, the Ritz crackers do. They sweeten it up quite a little bit, even though there wasn't all that much in there. We play the accordion. just going to cover this really good okay throw in what I got left of these oysters now you don't have to mush up or break up your oysters but I do like I said I like a lot of oysters The crackers will soak up the juice from the oysters and just add that flavor all the way through. Okay, I'm going to use the rest of this. I don't think I'm going to need two things of milk. just dry off my hands just a little now we're gonna just cover this these two layers with more crackers we usually only do this for like special occasions Christmas Easter uh, Thanksgiving But it's good all year round, especially on a cold day. I want to go ahead and run my oven today. Okay, I want to cover those really good. And I don't mind getting some bigger pieces on the top here. Now I take my evaporated milk, poke a breathe hole, breathe hole, pour hole, and I'm just going to coat it. Yeah, I'm not going to need both cans. And 
and just try to pour it over everything I can. Everything I can. All right, now we good. I'm gonna go with 375. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in uncovered and I'm gonna cook it until the top is beginning to brown. I don't want to dry it out. Put it in the center of the oven and we're going to use my cell phone for a timer to see how long that takes for it to get to that point. All right, we'll be right back with some taste. All right, guys, it has been right uh, a couple minutes longer than 22 minutes. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, that looks good. Oh, come on, get off there. That looks delicious. Off. All right, boy, this looks good. This looks awesome. Let's see. I didn't brown it quite as much on the top as I probably should have. Let's see if I succeeded. Oh, yeah. Ow, that plate is hot and I just touched it with my finger. Oh, yeah. That is what it's supposed to look like here. All right. Got a little butter here. Let's taste it. Let's do a taste test here. Oh, mmm. That is what it's supposed to taste like. Mm. Oyster dressing, my friends. Mmm. 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 Tasty. Mm. That's probably trademarked. All right. Y'all have a great day. Try something new this week with your cooking. I'm going to eat. This is my lunch. Y'all have a great day. DM 141, I'm out.